It is a pleasure that you are with me again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. How to recognize heart disease in dogs and cats? Let's start. While there are no scientifically proven ways to prevent heart disease in cats and dogs, the best thing you can do for your pet is to identify symptoms early. This ensures that your vet has time to diagnose and create a treatment plan that can help you maintain a good quality of life during your golden years. So how is heart disease recognized in dogs and cats? And what happens after? What are the symptoms of heart disease in dogs? Symptoms of congenital heart disease usually appear in younger dogs that are born with the condition. Meanwhile, acquired heart disease is more likely to appear as the dog ages. In any case, slowing down is one of the first noticeable symptoms of heart disease in dogs. If the dog is active, owners will notice a slowdown or him sitting in the way. Owners think it's age, arthritis, or orthopedic discomfort, but lethargy is a very common symptom of heart disease. As dog heart disease enters the stages of heart failure, most dogs will begin to cough. Some will see an increase in their respiratory rate or effort at rest, but most cough along with an increase in their respiratory rate and effort. If the dog's breed is predisposed to certain heart conditions, it is recommended that owners monitor the dog's resting respiratory rate at home. When your dog is lying on the ground, he counts the number of times his chest rises in one minute. Any value less than 35 is normal. Over time, if you start to notice a progressive increase in pace or effort, you should make an appointment with your veterinarian or a veterinary cardiologist. What are the symptoms of heart disease in cats? Cat owners may have trouble noticing when their pet's normal behavior is a symptom of something until it progresses to congestive heart failure. It can be hard to tell if the cat has slowed down due to heart disease or if he's just showing normal laziness. Symptoms of heart disease in cats include loss of appetite and respiratory distress, although very few cats cough when they have heart disease, even in its advanced stages. Purring makes it difficult to count the respiratory rate in cats. You can try counting breaths per minute while your kitty sleeps. Normal respiratory rate can be anything less than 50 breaths per minute. Are certain dog breeds more likely to develop heart disease? In a nutshell, the answer is yes. Most of what veterinary cardiologists deal with is genetic, which makes looking at the progression of heart disease early in a dog's life, and in turn treating it, a bit more manageable. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is particularly susceptible to heart murmurs. 50% will have developed a murmur by age 5 and 100% will by age 10. Large breed dogs, such as Great Danes, Dobermans, and Boxers, are more likely to be affected by dilated cardiomyopathy. This type of heart disease in dogs involves the enlargement of the muscle, which decreases its ability to pump blood. Poodles, Pomeranians, Schnauzers all are predisposed to valve disease, but when it comes to breeds that are less likely to develop any type of heart disease, you could possibly look to some of the terriers. These breeds do not tend to be affected by heart disease as much as other small breeds of dogs. Are certain cats more prone to heart disease? Most people don't have purebred cats, so it can be more difficult to make generalizations. However, Maine Coons, Rag Dolls, Bengals, Sphinxes, and American Shorthair breeds tend to be the most affected with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy from a genetic standpoint. That said, the most commonly diagnosed heart condition in cats it causes the cat's left ventricle to thicken, making it difficult to pump blood to the aorta. There is still a long way to go before the scientific community has a handle on feline genetics and heart disease in cats. With people, we know of more than 600 genes that code for this disease. With cats, we have one. Would you like to have more information, videos, consultations, and professional help for your pet? Visit the website below. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well, thank you.